Alright, hi guys, Francine, and welcome back to another episode of Night of Dragons. Today, new, it's um, some kind of, yeah, I'm just going to cover the news because I wanted to do a recap this morning and then I saw that the damn raid was already gone, so <laughs> that's a little bit a mistake on my end. I was actually planning on doing a recap every Tuesday, but only for wars, they, they go away on Tuesday. So that's a little problem. So we got this special edition um, Florizing Chest, Step Chest, however you want to call them. Uh, same? Same prices as usual, nothing really much about that except for the Fire uh, Ascension Dragon Forge. It looked, or Shadow Forge, I mean. It looks quite nice, if I can say so myself. Stats are overpowered as shit, but I'm not going to talk about that. So we got... Um, let's see, we got the Dragon Void Calls, Ring and Amulet Chest. And yeah, we got buffs, Dragon Void Wagon. What the... Fucking... I don't, I don't even know what the hell is going on with this. So I don't know if this, this is the regular price, I think. I'm not sure. And then down here we got another chest. And this is actually the regular chest. And you can get a cursed drag mail plus with the correct sets uh, if you buy 52 of them. And that's, I think that's about, what's the 1000 gems? I'll look at it later. And then we have the pet chest. And it, you can, they are trying everything they can to get as much money out of it as possible. They are just lowering every gem. They are giving out free prizes with the chest openings and everything like this. Rarity up boost and where was it again? This used to be 20 gems or something. Now it's like I don't know it, it went less as well and th this one they also sometimes just do that and the Dragonforge clearance sale chest It's not bullshit at all, but it's just you know that Gree is putting you can clearly see that Gree is putting out everything they can to make as much money as they used to do, but I haven't seen anything new coming to the game except for that Shadow Forge season, but that was already on the EU server, on the European server. And that's nothing new for me, you know, but it would be nice if I can actually see what it's like, because I've never actually tried to get those coins and whatever. I don't know if it's a coin hunt, but it'll probably be when I am on vacation, because I'm actually going on vacation this Friday. So yeah, I will be also notifying you guys more on that and when I'll be back and what I'm going to do after it because school is starting in three weeks for me. You got that Americans already back to school. So and yeah, you still see me having three uh, three extra weeks or two and a half as it is now actually because it's now it's Tuesday and shit like that. So we got the Blitz over here. It's just 27 hours. I still have no clue why they made it 27 hours. I, I already said in another video, like, maybe they're doing this because you can, like, then every, every one, every continent has about the same time to get online, you know? I think that's why they did it, because war starts at 8 here in the evening and shit like that, and maybe in Australia it's in the middle of the night then? If it's 8 here, I guess, or it, I think it's getting morning by the time it's 8 here. I'm not sure. But it says get Shadow Forge Keymaster and Mandrake material. So I think they're also going to feature the materials in the thumbnails now for the for these guys. Then we have the heroic mode still going on until August 11th. I think that's about for a week. And yeah, it says revamped and it, it has been revamped for about months months now it also says final week technomancers is featured what can i say about that armor it's one of the latest epics one of the strongest epics and that's about all i can say and yeah we got uh, selkie already talked about her a little bit that's i don't really have anything to send this one and here we have the arena package discounts i'm surprised that there's no like discounts itself on the gem packages it's just the energy all right so we got the quarry quarrel or whatever and yeah it's featuring centauri blaze guard plus and the regular so then will there be a little problem no not really but i think they should put dragonforts in there now dragonforts are fusible they are 
in chess they are in the milestone miles or milestones they are in the like top 50 now you there's easier ways to get them and yes i think i just think that arena should be dragon force also like epics it's that they are really getting outdated and no one i don't know like i said the only reason why people still are going for top 10 is because so that because a lot of people look here for good girls and you can see like the first the first ones are always like in this case zombie killers and yeah that's this is a little bit of a recruiting post because if you decide to do that if you decide to get in top 10 people will notice your guild because a lot of people are looking in top 10 for a guild i also used to do that i also just look to a used to look in the in the um, back when uh, the Y or the Raiders ended you know I was looking for when I was looking for a new guild but I if I found a guild then I would stick to it for a couple months if I really liked it there so we got yeah you are in nights here over over here we got Sarkozy we got Arizona Warriors Dark Warriors we got Nocturnal Mafia and we got um I forgot your your guy's name but there's most of these girls I know by the emblem, by their gold emblem. So, yeah, that, that's about all I have um, on this episode of the news feed. So yeah, I don't know what Gri is doing, but let's. I know that some people came from a guild called Syndicate. Something was that it was also part of Gri, and before they actually quit with the game. What Gree decided to do is discount everything and stuff like that, and then just quit the entire game. And this is going the same with Knights of Dragons as now. Everything is on sale and everything. I don't know if they will keep going with Knights of Dragons, because as I already said in an early video, Knights of Dragons is losing interest quite much. You see chess openings on, on your channel, or I see the chess openings on my channel still getting the views that they always get, but other things... Such as the regular recaps or something. They used to be watched 150 times. And now I'm lucky if I can even get 100 on them. So it's it's maybe it's me, but I started editing. So I don't think that that is getting worse. But I don't know what it is either. And I, yeah, it just KD is losing interest. And I think Gree is feeling that in their pockets. And that is why all these discounts... I really hate this pen. Um, well, all these discounts are up and all these buffs and all this type of shit. I don't. I generally don't know what the hell if Gree is quitting with this game. I sincerely hope not because I've been in this game for three years now and if I need to quit it, then all what I did on this account, all I earned, all I used, all this, all these epics, all these Dragonforged, like... All of these guys, I have fused, I have gathered from chess and everything for absolutely nothing at all. And I really don't want to have that. So guys, let me know what you guys thought about uh, me covering the news feed for a bit. I don't know if you guys want to see more of this. If you want to see more of these news feeds, coverage type of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Can we get 5 likes for this episode here? I'll see you later in the next video. Bye bye.